Hello students, welcome to this amazing lesson in which we talk about the next concept of hygiene that is we talk about social hygiene. We have taken a look at personal hygiene, correct? Now we talk about social hygiene and also the concept of sanitation. Yes, social hygiene and sanitation. Now, just like personal hygiene, what do you think will be the concept of social hygiene? Maintaining good practices at the community level, correct? Social level. So, what kind of social level? Are we trying to talk about maintaining hygiene at public places? Yes, correct. Public places like say the cinema halls, the restaurants, the dhabas, roadside street food that we get, right? All these places wherein there are more number of people at a time. On the road, when you travel, yes, you find equal distribution of crowd, right? Throughout the road. But at certain places, certain points like a restaurant, like suppose say a street stall, food stall, like a cinema hall or somewhere like, you know, for shopping or something when we go for buying clothes or something in that shop, you have overcrowded nature, correct? So at such places, we should make sure that hygiene is maintained well. So at such places, what kinds of things are we supposed to do at our level and what kinds of things are supposed to be done by the government in turn? Why government? Because it's a common public place, correct? So, we need to have good practices, correct? Good practices like covering mouth while coughing, sneezing, so on. Yes, not to spit, not to just throw water, not to wash hands on the road, so on, correct? That is about the good habits or good practices at the personal level. At the level of government or public, what should be done? The government or public should provide Yes, government I am saying because when we talk about say certain kinds of food stalls which are set up by the government, certain restaurants or certain hospitals or some places which is owned by, which is run by the government. So at that time you talk about government and if it is run by a group of people or it is a private sector or something then by the particular community itself. Yes, they should provide clean things to the people. What kinds of clean things are we talking about? Well, these things can include clean food, if you talk about certain food places, yes, clean utensils, crockeries, What is the difference between a utensil and a crockery here? Utensils is all those vessels used for cooking and crockery is in which they are serving us. For example, in a restaurant or something. Yes, then another thing is the flooring has to be cleaned. Needs to be clean. If it is any kind of public place which is run by a particular uh, what do you say, group of people like a theatre or a hall or suppose a restaurant or something like that, correct? The flooring has to be clean because there will be many kinds of flies or other insects roaming around here and there which may contaminate the food especially, correct? So food, utensils, crockery, everything has to be there. When you talk about the government providing us, most important thing is safe drinking water. Yes, basic requirement. Now this water, even if it is not free of cost, it has to be safe and even if you give it free of cost, that is at public places, you find huge set of a tank or something and sometimes, if not a tank, there is some kind of pipe connection from somewhere and you have a cooler attached to it which has two glasses kept on it. You can just take the water free of cost and have it. This water has to be clean. How will you make sure it is clean? The purifier attached has to be regularly, frequently cleaned from time to time. The supply of water has to be clean. That is from the government, right? Municipalities and all give you that free drinking water, correct? The vessels which we are using should be clean enough, correct? So all these things is what we need to take care of at the public places or with, with respect to social hygiene. The public places has to be maintained good by us 
by following good practices and it should be clean by the provider also may it be government body may it be a private sector all these things should be taken care of at such places now what's the concept of sanitation when you talk about sanitation we are concerned with usually the drainage system usually correct the drainage system usually right when we talk about the concept of sanitation we are trying to talk about the drainage system so now what happens is at public places where we have these washrooms or for bathrooms for people to have bath those who don't have their own big homes these things should be kept clean first important thing secondly the sewage water coming out from there yes that has to be disposed properly so the greatest concern for us is sewage water so what has to be done this sewage water has to be treated before it is let into some kind of water body nearby sea nearby river wherever you throw the sewage water it has to be treated before it has to be undergoing some kind of process some kind of treatment so that so that the water is let safe into the nearby water body correct also the drainage tanks the drainage pipes they need to be sealed properly covered properly because any small or minute leakage in the tanks or the pipes that can spoil the nearby environment why if there is water oozing out from the pipe if it is bursted or if the tank has some problem and the water or the drainage water comes out of it what will be the case the drainage water will mix everywhere in the surrounding spoiling the surroundings and helping the microorganisms and mosquitoes breed fast correct so sewage water disposal is the greatest issue which has to be taken care of so at the social level we need to practice some good habits we need to be provided with certain good habits by the provider and at the sanitation level by the government and by us also the sewage water disposal system has to be taken care of the drainage system has to be taken care of so this was all in short about the social hygiene and sanitation practices which we need to follow as a part of good habits or a part of good hygienic habits this is all about the concept of sanitation and social hygiene now let's meet up in the next lesson where we discuss about the few important vectors that is animals which act as vehicles for transmission of diseases thank you